Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own Spider-Man costume with very minimal cosplay crafting experience required. This tutorial can be 100% completed without any knowledge of how to sew whatsoever. And for those who do want a more advanced tutorial where sewing is required, I'll be making a second tutorial where I use the same methods I usually use for my costumes without dumbing down any of the processes I use. And if you want to see that video, make sure you subscribe now. And leave a like so I'm actually encouraged to continue this series. You will need one red long sleeve shirt, one blue long sleeve shirt, craft foam, preferably black, hot glue, a pair of red socks, a pair of red gloves, and a red mask. This tutorial is going to be like no di like at least for the mask part. The mask part is going to be no different than the last mask tutorial I showed you. So if you want to know how to make the Spider-Man mask, just go watch that video cuz from this point onward, we're pretty much just going to be making everything from the neck down. I'll meet you back at the store. So, since we're going to be gluing these together, I want to get a shirt that has a more durable, or I guess something that will hold up to the glue better, but I, they only have them in medium, so I don't know what to do. So I couldn't find the blue one in a thicker size. So, oh wait, I forgot my glue sticks. So I figured I would just settle for a blue thin one. Bro, where did I put the glue sticks? I just had them. I just had the glue sticks in my hands that I was carrying that I was gonna buy and I lost them. God damn it, I gotta go find those glue sticks. It turns out I was the only one who took the, they only had one sure bonder pack of glue sticks and I took it and lost it, so. That's Parker luck for you. Testing, testing. First step is we're gonna take this red shirt that we bought and we're gonna lay it out nice and flat. This is going to be the top layer of our shirt piece for our Spider-Man suit. So I want to make sure I get it on a nice and flat surface so that I can draw on it and put everything I want onto the shirt before we cut it out and put it over the blue shirt. The reason I'm not cutting it out first is because I want to have a nice flat layer where I'm not worried about like any wrinkles or anything. All I have is the raw shirt right here. We're going to draw the webbing on it and everything. And then once that's done, we're going to cut And once that's done, we're gonna cut out everything that we need from this red shirt and then glue it over the blue one. Okay, so the webbing on your shirt should be all drawn out now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut the red sections off of this sweater and then prepare to glue them onto the blue section. You want to make sure you hold on to the excess fabric from this sweater that you're going to be cutting apart because you're going to be using some of that extra stuff later to make an extended neck if you want to cover your neck when you wear your mask and the back logo. So let's get to cutting this thing open. Right, so our red shirt, or our red part of the Spider-Man suit is all cut out and ready to be glued onto the blue shirt. I don't think there's really anything too crazy in terms of, you know, the steps required to gluing these two shirts together. I would really just make sure everything lines up and, you know, you put everything on the thing. When I drew my pattern out onto the um, red sweatshirt, I made sure to leave the cuff on there. I did this so that I could emulate Spider-Man's glove piece on his forearm without, you know, losing that length as opposed to me wearing gloves over the sweater. Because uh, if I wore gloves over the sweater of my costume, they would look super bunched up and ugly, and I thought I could remedy this by having the arm parts showing over the sweater. I, the one thing I'm worried about is that I think I cut the belt line too high. I'm actually glad that in the end I went with the 
thicker red fabric as opposed to getting a fabric that was the same exact texture and I guess like feel of the blue because the the blue fabric I've actually worked with before it kind of like rolls to the side when you cut it which makes it kind of harder to you know glue it so I'm glad I went with this thicker material that looks like it's gonna be a lot easier to attach to the rest of the costume. I wanna take a second to credit the people who are responsible for, for, you know, pioneering the way that I am making this suit today before you. Many people have been making Spider-Man suits out of sweaters long before I stepped into the field. And I wanna take a second to credit those who I know have been sweater suit titans. Of course you have my good pal, Kian. Fuck you, Kian, if you're watching this. What? Well, I'm out, man. Um, Spider Boy, he has made some of the most influential Spider-Man sweater suits in, in the community. His work is incredibly inspiring. Of course, you have Deacon De Fox, or is it Deacon Fox? I have no clue. He actually made a tutorial, which even references my mask tutorial, funny enough, which I, I referenced in this video. He makes a sweater suit pretty much, I'm, I'm gonna differentiate from his method a little bit, I hope, but his method is very similar to the one I'm going to be entailing. Of course, there's, there's differences between ours and subtle things like materials and uh, I guess maybe strategy. I tried to watch it to make sure I didn't like rip off his, his entire method, but I guess at the end of the day, the, the method is the method. But if you want another suit tutorial that does what I'm doing, but in a different way, maybe you don't like one of the methods I'm using, maybe you want to try something different, you can always check out his tutorial, which will be linked on screen and in the description. Okay, so something I, I noticed, my belt is a bit wider than the base shirt I'm using. So I'm gonna remedy this by using my fabric scissors and cutting a line in the belt so that I can tighten it. And then, essentially, just glue it on like that. Where's my, where's my goddamn, where's my goddamn Sharpie at, goddamn it? Here, you can really start to see how high I made the belt line. Okay, so everything is all glued together, but as you can tell, the blue sweatshirt is still on the inside of the suit here. So you obviously don't want to have that because if you live in a hot area like I do, it could cause you to overheat very easily because it pretty much just feels like you're wearing two sweaters on top of one of them. It feels like you are wearing two sweaters on top of one another. So I'm going to cut out all this extra blue shit. Be very careful where you're cutting. You wanna definitely feel for some of those glue lines. Like you can tell, I can feel it. This is where I glued. All right, inside is all cut out. So let's put it on. The belt is a little high, especially on the back. You can tell a lot on the back, but that's all right. It looks good. Like for the most part, it looks good. So I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. So. We're gonna, we're gonna continue. We're gonna finish up the shirt. We're gonna put the, the elongated neck part on and then we're gonna start putting the logos on the shirt and then the shirt is done and we can move on to the more simpler parts of the costume. All right, so now that the sweater is pretty much completely done, now all we need to do is put the emblems on it. Luckily for us, I made a video in the past on how to make your own Spider-Man emblems which I'm gonna play for you now, and heavily censor, because for some reason I thought it'd be a really funny idea to just swear.
So of course, now that you know how to make your own uh, logos with lots of bleeping and blooping, um, I'm going to be making the back logo for this suit. There, I did it. Now I'm gonna, now I'm gonna cut it out. The neck of this suit should be about 22 inches wide, and then you wrap around that. You wrap around. You wrap that around the neck. So. I'm gonna make a smaller neck. I don't wanna make it too big. I don't wanna make it too turtlenecky. So we're gonna be careful about how we do that. Right, so that looks like it would be enough. I'm also leaving a little bit of access on the edge as I cut so I can glue this to the inside of the neck. I'm gonna be very careful about how I glue this so I don't accidentally end up getting any glue stains around the neck or on the neck. Now I'm just gonna draw the, the web line on the neck. All right. There we go. The neck line is pretty much done. So now all that's left is to take it outside and go wear it. Outside! All right, so I'm gonna take a second to tell you about the boots and gloves and mask on this suit. So. The mask can be made using my mask tutorial, which is on screen. So go on Amazon and order one pair of red spandex gloves. And honestly, it's not really all that hard, and I don't really think I need to show you how to do this, but all you gotta do once you get the gloves, put them on, take your Sharpie, and just draw on your arm while wearing the glove. And of course, switch hands for when you wanna draw the next glove and wear the glove backwards so you can still use your dominant hand to draw on the glove. And then once both gloves are done, after that, that's it for the gloves. You're done. It's really that easy, I promise. Now for the next part, you've got the boots. Now, I'm not gonna go out of the ordinary and do anything too crazy for the boots. In fact, what I recommend you do is order a pair of long red socks and then do the same thing you did for the gloves but just for the socks. Just lay them down flat instead of putting them on, because it would be hard, because you'd have to bend your leg, but lay the socks down flat, get your Sharpie, and draw the webbing onto your socks. And then you will pretty much have your finished Spidey boots. And then whether you want to put shoes on them over them or not, you can do that. Of course, you could always follow a tutorial online for how to glue on soles onto your boots, or I guess you can have a super spiffed out pair of Spidey shoes with like the soles on the end of them. But me, I'm just gonna wear Spider-Man themed basketball shoes over my boots. Hello, hello, hello! Welcome to the end of the show. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I hope it was useful to you. And again, please be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're excited for the next part where I go into more depth with the tutorial. Also, be sure to subscribe if you just like Spider-Man in general. I always make videos about Spider-Man. Uh, that's pretty much what we do here every week. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye